the youngsters took to the Ali Pali stage for the final of the Junior Darts Championship. Adam Gavlas took on Keen Barry for the Tommy Cox Trophy. The players went toe-to-toe -to -toe in the opening exchanges, proving why they have been touted to have big futures in the game. But it was the Irishman who finished the stronger, taking a memorable victory on the most famous of stages. It's great, yes. It's, it's absolutely amazing to be a world champion. And hopefully there's um, many, many more to come, but I'm, I'm really happy to get the win. It's a very different kind of type of pressure, like because when you're playing in against Vincent, you're not really expected to win as much. But it's uh, playing even just to play on the stage, like it was brilliant. And to get the game against Vincent as well, give you kind of a bit more confidence up there, and it, it, you kind of get the feel of the stage as well. So that, I think that was a big factor in the game as well. Hopefully, it won't be my last time on the stage. Hopefully, but we will see. Like I hope we'll see what next year brings, and hopefully, we'll be up there again. So that were the highlights of the JDC final, gents. What do you take from that? Well. We've been telling you, haven't we, on the Dart Show about these two young lads. Keen Barry, who was a star in Gibraltar, and Adam Gavlas, who was a star on the European Tour earlier on this year. Gavlas, look, he's still learning. He, he hasn't even been playing the game a year, but Keen Barry looks like such, such a talent. It may well have helped him to be on this stage before and in that game against Vincent van der Voort. Vincent himself said that he's going to be a star and Vincent knows a thing or two about up and coming young players. He does a little bit, doesn't he? He tends to find them, but I, I echo Dan's sentiment about getting the experience on this stage against van der Voort a little bit before that final. I think that definitely helped him. Gavlas is definitely learning, but we'll watch out for him in the European Tour in 2020. But Keane, for me, is not only a very good player, but he's very exciting to watch. And you can't buy that, really. You put him up against somebody who's really swift on this hockey and it's blinking you miss a dart and I'll pay to see that every day of the week.